<laughs> no, what the hell? No. <laughs> no. Man, come look at TJ. <laughs> Hey, the young blood. Oh my goodness. <laughs> DJ, what? <laughs> I was like, what this nigga laughing for? <laughs> no, we had the 100 day of school today, folks. Oh, oh I was tomorrow. <laughs> Nah, that gets me every time. Dude. <laughs> he threw the javelin. <laughs> that gets me every time. Bro, bro. you Sony Montana. Sony. Now nah, he I is. Feeling in my vein. This is Sony. <laughs> Sony is the old gr grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> TLG, what it do? Yeah. He got a new location too. What's up with it? Look at this, boo boy. What is you on the convention? <laughs> is you an extra in a Harry Tubman movie? <laughs> no, you got you want it. Free slave. That's why you got a sweater on. <laughs> nah, you got it, fool. No, Damn. Man, you got it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What it do? I can't what even do, talk. Yeah. Bro, it's the hundredth day of school. Yeah, What's good, man? Hey. Look at y'all. Look at them cuz. <laughs> hey. hey, I got my threes up, TLG. What's up? I got my threes cause Doug third in the nation. Oh, that's right. Uh, Doug third in the nation. Third in the nation. That's right. Douglas. Mm, <laughs> what's up? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> man. Bless. Bless. Yes, sir. Bless. Bless, man. Bless. Bless. When you find uh, that truth, man. Shoot. Whoa, it was last last week, probably about this time, around this time last week. And uh, the first rankings came out, mm -hmm. so that's that was the highest highest uh, we uh, women we ever uh, ranked. Man, uh, listen to the story. Man, it's top of the highest. We working, we working, we working. Y'all doing y'all thing, man. That's what's up, people. Man, that's that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, man, yeah. Make you happy, man. Yeah. All that hard work paying off. Ooh. All that you instilled in them, and now they showing uh -huh. out for you. You know they doing it for you, don't you? No, it's a, do it, do it, for, <laughs> do it for somebody. But do it for little saint. <laughs> do it, he do it for little saint. Somebody, <clears throat> like for real he, though. Nah, he just said, just do it. That's real. Well, okay. Yes. Why you why you say they doing it for him though? Doing more deal. Because whenever you are a mentor. And you show people that you care a little bit more than, okay, you just out here to do your thing and I'm doing my job. When you show them that you're going to go the extra mile with them, do extras for them, then they're going to work hard for you because you done put all of that, all of that good energy on them. And that's just the fruits of your labor, you know? Yes, sir. Come on, that's Yeah. Come on, that's Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. It's Tall Can Tuesday. Congratulations, Douglas Mark. Tall Can Tuesday, baby. It's Tall Can, dog. Mm. I got my I got my stick with me. I hit you with the stick right now. Say one word. I hit you with the stick. You look uh, black. Ladies and gentlemen, in Moses honor, cousin. Uh, in honor, ladies and gentlemen, of you know the tragic passing of Miss Cicely Tyson. I would like to give a shout out to Tim Chan for honoring her as Jane Pittman. Oh my. And drinking out that water fountain. You know what I'm saying? And letting us know that we are free. We are black. 
and and I appreciate you paying tribute no. to the James Pittman situation. Dang. <laughs> Dang. I'm the flyest grandpa you will ever see. Oh, grandma. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, how you feel? Yeah, right. <laughs> this, this look like Grandma Wig. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all thing about it though, you look like you're gonna have something to say, like in some type of character, some kind of voice. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Somebody really? look like you don't talk like you. Bro, I was killing it all day at school. How boy. you hit, bro? How you hit it? Hey, baby, how you feel? You know, like, <laughs> you know, I said, I said, you know, Grandpa uh, uh, misses medicine. He gotta go take his medicine now. I said, oh my lord! And I had, to, you know, I had to walk. Oh my goodness, I was killing it down. Man, bro. Ooh, that's funny. You want to work? Oh, the whole day. Oh, that's live, day. man. And I wasn't, I wasn't that's gonna more, do it for more, more and more. Of this good mentoring going on just by you doing that, man. You planting seeds, bro. You developing I, relationship. Y'all can give me live. See, I, you know, you, I, yeah, I, I want to, but y'all got me want to talk about this kind of stuff. You okay. know, I'm, I'm happy about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been talking yeah. this talk all day long. Yeah. All day long, trying to instill something in people. Yeah, right. But when I see somebody just doing their thing, I got to give props where props is due, man. Most definitely. Mm. Come on, man. What you saying? What you saying? You saying your presence? You talking about the presence? You saying how strong your presence is, and you know how how much we can impact other people? You know, with yes. our presence. Yes, yes. So Most how definitely. important is it then, Jamon? How important is you know, you coming in and, and setting the tone like wherever you go. You Come know? on, Monty. Man, it's uh, it, it's very important, man, because you know, oftentimes we get judged off the first impression we give off. You know, mm. and so uh, well, you know, we, we learn early that sometimes, like, well, we shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but you know, a lot of times, most often, that's what. That's when we'll judge. So, you know, if it, I feel like it's very important when you, you know, walk in the room, you know, your energy is felt. You know, whether that be as a as a uh, a, a coach, you know, what I'm saying as a, as a boss, you know, as a uh, whatever you do, you know, what I'm saying your energy has to be felt. A husband, a son, whatever, you know. So, yeah. um, that first impression. You know, it could it could uh impact in 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 a great way, or it can impact in the in the in a, a lesser than. You know, mm -hmm. that's real. That's real because uh, I just try to, you know, I know how I am, and I know the energy that I bring, and so anybody that is that's around me, I try to bring good energy in in my presence. I want my presence to be known. You know, yeah. I'm not using it as, you know, but I feel like I bring good presence every time I'm in the room. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, TLG, uh -huh. you know, when we talk about, you know, is it is it important to start off your day knowing that you're going to bring good presence to somebody else? Yeah. Like how important is knowing that, hey, I'm going to, is it, is it, is it planned? Is it planned to bring a uh, spread that, 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 that presence to somebody else? It's planned, but you don't know how it's gonna go. Mm. That's when you rock with GOD. And that's when you say, look here, look here. This is how I talk to I talk to God like hey, like I talk to anybody else, because he knows me. So I'm we just have conversation. I said, look here, God, look here, man. Please let today be a better day than yesterday. Even though yesterday was great, let's get it better. You know, help me make an impact. Help me do what I gotta do. Speak through me, guide me, walk with me. You know, I pray that prayer every morning. So that I can't be at my best. And I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know what obstacles are going to come my way. The mm. fact of the matter is, I've already set the foundation. Mm. I've already set the foundation. Talk so I'm to coming me. in with it. And I'm, I'm where it come from, you know? And that's just where it come from, G-O-D. 
So it's mm -hmm. a very important. As soon as I said this before, as soon as you wake up, open your eyes and thank God for seeing another day, you get on your knees or however mm -hmm. you pray and you tell him thank you and you move on. And you say, look here, walk with me. Yeah. Walk yeah. with me. Yeah. I got to survive some kind of way. Mm -hmm. And it's live all day. So, okay, so. Now nah, you real. Yeah, that's real. You know, because I told you once when I wake up and you know I, I, I get in that zone early, it's a different day. You know what I mean? But uh I'm gonna ask Doug, like for those who because sometimes like the last couple of days for me, it's just hard to get up. You know what I mean? And I know that you a person that get up and you got a routine where you're reading your books and stuff. So how important is just waking up and knowing that you're going to start off with with a good presence. Like waking up and you knowing that it's going to set the tone when you wake up. Sure. It, it, it's to, some days it's tougher than others. You know what I'm saying? But like I, I just got to keep up on myself. Like even when I'm laying there, I'm like, get up. I can't, I can't keep laying here because I'm I'm losing time. You know what I mean? Like I'm if I'm losing time, get behind. And I can't yeah. I can't operate like that. I gotta I gotta try to stay ahead. And so like I just gotta keep reminding myself or keep telling myself, like, I gotta keep pushing through. I gotta keep pushing through. And it just get past that next roadblock. I don't feel like getting up. The first step is get up. I gotta mm -hmm. get up. You know what I'm saying? Like they they always say the 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 first step to working out, putting your shoes on. You put your yeah, shoes yeah. on, then you you can move on. You know what I'm saying? So like you just gotta keep <laughs> like just you know what I'm saying, just keep 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 getting past them little small roadblocks and, and keep moving on through your day. Like and you just make it through. Yeah. And that's, that's real, up, man. That's real because you know Mm -hmm. Like that's that's the hardest, man. I just in my uh my alarm clock to wake up even earlier now, just mm -hmm. so I can get my 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 prayer in, you know, and everything, you know, my devotion. Yeah. But man, it's some sometimes it's just so tough to 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 just get up, you know what I'm saying? Like like this morning, for instance, like I my you know how your body be on the routine. Or well, as soon as I woke up, as soon as my alarm clock hit, I had to go use the restroom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I went to go get the restroom. I got back in the bed and laid back down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I still was able to get up and handle my business, but it's just like, man, it's just like, man, I just give me five more minutes to lay down. Or Ten more know. minutes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so, but yeah, man, uh, that's real. You know, telling yourself to just get up, you know, and, and you know, that's one of the things that I definitely can benefit from. Bro. And you know, speaking of uh, you know, all these uhs going on out here. Uh, <laughs> I do believe T Lee Fly Mac has joined us in the situation. What's hey. up, brother? Let me swipe over. <laughs> That's my godson. Godson. I am godson. I'll part you with the Red Sea. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, What's look up? at Tim Chain. Look at Tim Chain. Just look at him. No. I'll part you with the Red Sea, grandson. <laughs> he said, no, no. I look at him. I don't care about that. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> not tonight. <laughs> He don't want the juice. <laughs> we I don't want the, the juice, man. <laughs> we <laughs> he on the leaf want to know what he did it for. Oh my lord! I don't even care, Cicely Tyson. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Dang, bro. Oh, that's so just crazy. I take it back. 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 Nah, y'all brothers, fool. Y'all, y'all brothers. Y'all, that's crazy. Y'all said the same thing. Same. I can't even laugh at it like I want to. I know it's sad. Yeah. How you feeling today, Travis? <laughs> yeah. How you feeling, grandson? <laughs> Tell me some good, grandson. I want to know how yeah, you feeling. How you feeling over there, Red? 
<laughs> oh, let me scroll over and see him. Boy, he doing some chuckle talking. Uh, oh, boy, I see you. <laughs> boy, your, your decoration is like a part of your hairstyle. <laughs> Chill, fool. Uh, leave him alone. Hey, that's funny, fool. And it was little. That's funny, and it was little. Y'all better leave him alone. <laughs> uh, Jamal. Yeah. Yeah, don't tell Jamal to shut it. up. All right. I'm telling you. My dog got my back. I don't care. Hey, you got to do. I don't care you don't if he care. got your back. That don't mean nothing to me. It should. Travis, Travis wants some, but he don't. <laughs> yeah, he he don't. don't. <laughs> what you been on anyway? Hey, me? Travis, you on anyway? He got that. I'm going to mess you up in two words. Demeanor, fool. <laughs> That's right, Jermaine. You better let them know because anybody wants some smoke. Yeah. It's uh, smoky just, over here, right? Shut now. Up. I don't care. You do hey, care. Jamal, stop being friendly. <laughs> Bro. Uh, he can be nice if he want to be nice. He the dude on the commercial. Yeah, I found He got on the cardigan vest. <laughs> hey. Hey, coach. I found him, coach. I found him. Take me out the game. <laughs> I hate that, that commercial. <laughs> He got a. I touched him. I fouled him. Came. Okay, I didn't want to foul him, but I had to foul him. God, dog, no, stop being so friendly. Hey, that came <laughs> look like he got a sugar. Got, he got a sugar grain. He uh, said the sugar game. <laughs> stop it, Jamal. You better stop it. <laughs> you sleepy right now. Stop it. You look like you got a sugar cane feel. <laughs> he brought it back again, and it was yep. successful twice. Yep. And speaking of sugar cane, your cheeks look like some sugar cane. <laughs> oh no! Look at your cheeks. cheeks. Look like a sugar cane. But I'm gonna stop. Yeah. <laughs> you need to let that joke grow some more. <laughs> I know what grows some more. Your cheeks. <laughs> oh, I want to grow on a look bad your, joke and want to grow on. Look at your cheeks. <laughs> You're chubby in the face. Stop it. You stop it. <laughs> and, uh, I love my brothers, man. Oh, I stay oh, every day. Oh, hey, man, bro. what did I walk into, man? Man, a bunch of guys, dog. <laughs> hey, everybody, this is Faded Life TV. <laughs> this is Paul Can Tuesdays, and we are about to take a commercial break. We're about to have Travis Lee. He's about to play. We have to... <laughs> my grandson. You can't take him serious. Dude. My grandson. <laughs> the one that I put his pampers on. I changed his pampers. And we're about to take a music break, but we're going to come right back. <laughs> oh, music oh, break. Say the light TV. Ooh. This is Talk Can yeah. Tuesday. Ooh. Baby. Talk Can Tuesday, baby. <laughs> Lee, what's up, bro? We'll be right back. Uh, uh, what's going on? You lit, bro. No. Which is mind over matter. Taking all our weaknesses and making it to our strengths. And keep, we know that we got strength and numbers. We already run the streets out here. So now we just gonna help some of these brothers get their money on because we know they got talent. We got the ways to make them use their talent to the maximum effect. And that's what it's about. Everybody rap. We don't rap. We rap to make money. We do business. <laughs> Jams. One that my nut. Lee got them bouncing in the city. Quarter brick got me tripping to the city. My bitch acting now I'm tripping in the city. Country niggas, we move different in the city. Just got a hundred and off the muscle. Flip the fit, get the ceiling, then I get the ceiling, then I then I, I got it popping here. Yeah, we got it popping. All my niggas, Johnny Cocker with the gloves on and get off mask on, knock your shit off. Now I'm trying to get my freak on booty bigger up the sleep. Welcome back to Fatal Life TV. I'm your host, Terrence Gassaway, and my co-host, Swap Nation, over here. I don't know who he look like today, but he doing his thing, celebrating Black History Month. Also, we got D-Chain, we got Douglas Marshall, and my brother, T-Leaf Fly. 
Mac. Man, y'all welcome back to Fighting Life TV. We was talking about some good stuff earlier, but right now we're gonna shift it. We're gonna turn the page and we're gonna talk about something that's really important. And it's financial freedom. You know, because you know, we've been broke all our lives. That's what they say. But we really right. rich from here. But we need to secure that bag. And my boy D Chan is gonna show us exactly what that means and the process that we need to take steps to make sure that we have financial freedom. D Chan. So what it do, man? Right. What it do, what it do? Look, hey, man, uh, like TLG said, you know, growing up, growing up for me, you know, we I didn't have much, you know. And so knowing knowing what I went through growing up, and I'm pretty sure many of you can relate, you don't want that same thing for your kids when you get ready to have them or if you already have them, you know. So I feel like it's very important that we put certain things in place you know, so that so that we can we can eliminate that, um, you know, and then I, I, I believe that it's very important to, you know, we work so hard for our money. Yeah, all of us get up. We talked about getting up early, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, getting our day started. We go to work and we work for our money, you know, having financial freedom is more so making your money work for you. You know mm, what I'm saying? Mm, mm. Putting things in motion to where, you know, you don't have to punch a time clock every day, you know, or necessarily have to be there to see income. You know what I'm saying? And there's many, many ways to do that. I mean, man, it's so crazy. In 2020, we've seen so many people, businesses flourish, you know, there's so many ways to make money, so many ways you can do that, man. And I think it's it's important for your generation, you know what I'm saying? Breaking generational curses. Um, mm, you said and something. Then, and then, you know, having generational wealth for when we leave here, you know, um, having, having things set aside for your children, your children's children, and if possible, even beyond that, you know, uh, so, yeah, um, I, I think it's real important that we work hard and we strive hard now so that as our children grow older, you know, they'll have a foundation to start off with, you know. You know what I mean? How you how you feel about that, Dougie Fresh? Dude, I, I agree with you 100%. Like, I, our biggest thing is setting our kids up. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't have to... They don't have to go through certain stuff, but they they could be in a position to be be already be set life. Like you said, that generation of is gonna be big, especially when you start having kids and, and mm -hmm. the legacy that you leave and, and things like that. You know what I'm saying? And just making sure that you're saving up. Like we 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 got a separate saving account for the for the kids and we put into it every month. So when they when they graduate, they can you know what I'm saying, they could they could take advantage of that. Yeah. College with it. You know what I'm saying? Just 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 making sure that they set up. And so uh, like it, it's big. But like you said, like that one of the things that, that stood out to me that you said was like letting your money work for you. <clears throat> or, or you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's just creating that wealth and you not ha having to do you know do nothing. It's it's just constantly creating that wealth. That's big, bro. That's that's real big. Yeah. You know, another thing that popped out for me was when you said breaking generational curses. Man, that's a word right there. Yeah. I want to know, mm -hmm. Swan Nation, what you think about breaking generational curses. Um, I mean, just looking at where my daddy came from and, you know, seeing, you know, how he was working and stuff like that and, you know, I, I just I'm just tired of uh, it's like a, a a baggage my money. Like I feel like I'm always on somebody some or not. Mm -hmm. and I'm saying not people, but like bills. You know, what I'm saying it's always we we on some 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 to somebody. And so I'm just I'm just ready for you know just for that financial freedom where I I, I can just openly do things and do things with my money and. Like you said, that generation curse, man. We we got to find ways to to break that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And just because 
we not on that platform where you know everybody else got it, but she, I, I believe in myself. I believe I can get mm -hmm. to that to get to yeah. that point. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's, it's really your mindset to to go to that next level. Yeah. You know what I mean, if you think small, you gonna you gonna do small. But if you think big, then you can go big. You know right. what I mean? So I just Absolutely. feel that I just feel that with 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 money, um, and I'm learning. You know, I'm not the best of of uh, you know managing. I'm I'm doing better with managing, but I'm just saying as far as just saving for for my kids and stuff, I'm doing better with that. And I yeah. just want to make sure that when I go out, that you know they they good and they taken care of. You know, what uh -huh. I mean? straight, straight up, up, man. That's what's up, bro. That's yeah. what's up. You know what I'm saying, Ben? How do you feel? Like, what is your dream? What's your goal when it comes to financial freedom? I just want to be. I just want my financial situation to be based off what I love to do. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? I don't need the whole pie. I just need my slice. I'm okay. You know what yeah. I mean? As long as I'm doing what I love to do. It, I'm, I'm gonna be okay for me, but I know that will put me in position to make sure that my kids and their kids is good. You know what I mean? To break that Absolutely. curse, you know. But because right now it's just I know for a fact, like shit, what I what I believe in and what I feel and my vision is my gift. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, that's my satisfaction. Everything else is just a bonus. But me being satisfied really is on the last thing on the list. Yeah. But it's just the process of it, you know. I'm doing well, you know. I'm 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 happy as long as everybody else all right. Yeah. Terrence, yeah. do you, Terrence, yeah. do you feel that you can get to that point where you you yeah. naturally free and you know you break in generation curses? Like, do you really feel that? Absolutely, man. That's the goal. I'm the same way. I, I'm, I'm really trying to figure out ways and to make more money and to save more money, you know, and uh, really be smart about how I spend. I think that's my problem. I need to be smarter about how I spend and put more into my savings and also find things to invest in. So yeah. that day is coming, you know, that's the goal. That's what we're working on. Yeah. You know, that's, that's what we want to do. I, I really, my dream, I really want to invest. I want to have some real estate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, get up. Yeah. And I also want to learn the stock market. Yeah. Mm. That's big. Man. That's big. That's how your money really, really working, mm -hmm. bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Nah, for real. Mm -hmm. For real. So it was a lot of things we need to do. A lot of things that we didn't really know. Like we was talking, I was saying earlier, generational curses, you know, it gets better every generation. But why not make it like just blow up? You know what mm. I mean? Why studies take small steps every generation? Why not just your our generation just blow it up? Yeah. So that our kids and our nephews and nieces and, and cousins and everything can enjoy the fruits of our labor. Yeah. And know what they're supposed to be doing. Like you were saying earlier, Doug, you got stuff where you got your kids, you know what I'm saying? You got things already saved up for them. You know, mm -hmm. not only with and then it's not only about finances. You know what I'm saying? It's not only about investing, in, it's about investing in someone's happiness. It's about investing in mm -hmm. You know, going into the goals and, and the things that they want to do and your, your time dream. Mm -hmm. and dreams, but your time is more important than money. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's mm -hmm. why that's why having that financial freedom is gonna free up a whole lot more of that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I feel like that's so 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 important because we all pull so many different ways. You know what I'm saying? We all pull so many different ways. And so having that that time, I feel like it's two it, it's it's only two things that, that you spend. You know, the most the, the two most important things that you spend is money and time. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you have that financial freedom, you have more time to spend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, have more time. I can dig that. I can dig that. Man. Man, y'all boys, hey. I mean, you learn something every day, man. We we, we learn mm -hmm. something every day. And I'm just glad we had this opportunity. I don't know if I said that right, but I'm going to say it again. Opportunity.
TLT, we got a minute and some change left. Do you want yeah. to close us out with a, some inspiration? Lead us out and close us out with something, man. Well, I, I will leave y'all with a little something, man. Uh, don't always think that you are the only one facing difficulties and challenges. Don't always think that you are the only one that's going through something because it's always somebody worse off than you. Mm -hmm. And when you start thinking in that light, the sky's the limit, man. You, you start to elevate yourself. It's a, if, if, you, if you don't have to worry about doing nothing else but just coming up with a positive thought, you don't want for the death. Mm -hmm. Y'all feel mm -hmm. me? Yeah. You're more. Yeah. yeah. Because one hey. negative thought leads to another. Never. Get yourself a positive thought. I don't care what it is. Watch what happens. Boy, I almost slapped you. I almost slapped you. This don't hit me with that damn stick, Harry. Hey. <laughs> Shout out to T. Lee, Dougie Fresh. He third in the nation. Shout out to D. Chan. Oh, the if he got his shows, you can catch him on Thursday. What's the yes, show sir. content? Yes, sir. What it is. Yes, Here we go. What'd you say? What's the show? What's the show called? What's your name? What's the show on Thursday? Oh, you, boy, you know I thought you talked. I thought you talked about DJ. <laughs> 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 That's what I got live about. My show is called Morning Turns Off the Cup. You can catch us on Instagram live every single Thursday night at 9 p.m. Central. Hey. You gonna have that background tomorrow? I don't know. I might switch it up.